Just like that, Diddy and the whole Diddy situation is almost not even trending anymore. And it's all sports. Georgia Tech, Cincinnati, Louisville. I think people are so, so easy to move on that they don't care about any of these things. And that's why we never get any accountability. The Me Too movement, it went really hot and fast, died out. But there's not too many people in the Hollywood industry that gets any accountability because what happens is something else happens and then all of us are quick to move on these victims come forward i've seen people shaming ali carter and there's creators on tiktok and other apps that are quick to be happy that jaguar wright got silenced after she went on pierce morgan i did see the interview of her on pierce morgan where she was doing her typical jaguar wright crap where she goes off on a tangent and talks and riddles and says things like we were all there and they know what happened and sometimes it's gonna come for you like she she talks in riddles where you're just like what what's gonna come for you who's who was all there it's just strange how she talks she knows so much she's seen so much that it's interesting that none of these other celebrities that she's you know, we know that's who she's referring to, right? And some of them, she flats out, says their name, like Usher and, you know, all these people. They don't sue her. Why haven't they sued Ali Carter? Why haven't they sued any of these people that are out here speaking? In fact, what happens is they end up like Isaac Cappy that just ended up suicide. They end up like Twitch boss, who was suicide, that I believe even people like Kate Spade and the guy that used to do the food thing that traveled that travel food guy the food critic you know there's a bunch of these guys that just end up strangely just suicide they don't realize that the people they're messing with are big people and that brings me to the point of this video I did a little research for y'all and there was an article and I'm shocked that people missed the article completely because what's the integrators talking about this because here's the takeaway that I got just from watching the lawyers. A lot of them are saying that there are celebrities, there are rich people shopping to get their videos. If they can get their video pulled from the market, if they can have their victims silence by paying money, they will. And that's what brings me to the people that are suing P. Diddy because anytime there's people suing each other is because there's something that went awry people coming forward saying that Ciroc could be the whole underpinning of this i i don't think so i think it's a it's a whole host of other things black male involved with this situation if you guys out there that watch celebrities and adore celebrities can't see that birds of a feather flock together and that all these people are in cahoots with one another then something is off with you and you're still there admiring them praising them putting them on a pedestal it's one thing to listen to music and watch art and watch television and, and watch netflix and watch these shows and be like there's a space there where i just have to remove myself from the fact that they're human and that they probably do very bad things because they're lost these are people that are lost have not found their way and need our prayers it's another thing to put them on a pedestal and be like, queen, yes, slay sis, you're the best. Oh my God, I, she's queen. Be like, it's just the ridiculousness of that. that. They're not demigods. Although that's what you guys want to believe. First person on this list of people who obviously hate Diddy at this point is Aaron Hall, the R&B singer. And he's a defendant in a lawsuit brought against Combs. Now, Aaron Hall, part of the group called Guy, and was named as a defendant in a complaint filed against Combs last November in New York Supreme Court. Okay, so the plaintiff in that matter is a woman named Liza Gardner. She accuses Sean Combs and Aaron Hall of sexually assaulting her and a friend in Hall's apartment after a music industry event hosted by MCA Records in 1990. She was only 16 years old. She also alleges that Combs found her at her home and choked her until she passed out. Now, you have to understand how grotesque that is and that all P. Diddy was worried about at the time of this incident was that his girlfriend would find out.
There's a YouTube video circulating out there that was cited in this complaint that Aaron Hall had an interview with somebody and he claimed in this interview that Puffy has seen him have sex. Hall could not be reached yet for comment. I'm sure Diddy has lawsuits everywhere. But this next person is Harve Pierre and he used to work at Bad Boy Records and he was a music producer and he was named as a defendant in two lawsuits filed against Combs. Both lawsuits were filed anonymously, by the way. And the victim in this lawsuit went by Jane Doe. Obviously, this person does not want to give up their name. Remember, Pierre was Combs' first employee at Bad Boy Records, the former president of his Bad Boy Entertainment, and worked with artists like Notorious B.I.G. and Faith Evans. There's two complaints. The first one filed in November of 2023 was from a former employee of Bad Boy who worked as Pierre's assistant. He accused Pierre of using his position of power to groom, exploit and sexually assault her. Combs and his companies enabled the abuse, the complaint says. In the second lawsuit in December of 2023, the plaintiff alleges that when she was 17 in 2003, Combs, Pierre and an unnamed third person all gang raped and sexually trafficked her. Honey, this stuff is just out of control. Everything in this video is all alleged. Specifically, though, she alleges that Pierre smoked crack co cocaine and then forced her to give him oral smacks before bringing her from Detroit, uh, taking people across state lines, whew, to New York City on a private jet. Now, in New York, at a studio owned by Combs, the defendants provided the plaintiff with drugs and alcohol before raping her. Baby. Bay A B. How y'all are still I see people on these apps still going crazy over people like Sabrina Carpenter, Taylor Swift. Now Pierre's lawyer did not respond to a request for comment from Business Insider. He denied the accusations made by the second complaint and said that this tale, this is a tale of fiction. I have never participated in witness nor heard of anything like this ever. Denial, denial, denial. Denial is a river in Egypt, guys. And they said that these disgusting allegations are false and a desperate, desperate attempt for financial gain, he said in a statement obtained by TMZ. I do a part two. You're gonna have to come back to my channel for the part two because there's still more people involved in this. this big, huge names. Come back for that. Please like and subscribe and follow my channel. I talk about all kinds of things as a publicist. I'm always intrigued by and how you guys perceive things. I'm curious to know how you guys have been perceiving this P. Diddy debacle. Do you think he's actually guilty? Do you think this is blackmail? Somebody got to him. Somebody wanted to collect. Also, just from every single video I've seen of Diddy being creepy and weird, it feels real for me. But more interested to know what public per perception is. Have a great day. Come back for part two and think for yourself.